And as today marks the first ever Aussie and Dengue Day, Thai News Agency now looks at the development of a new vaccine currently being conducted by a French company in Thailand, which could be made available to the public by 2015. More in this report. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne disease that infects around 220 million people annually around the world. Two million, mostly children, develop dengue hemorrhagic fever, which is a life-threatening form of the disease. Asia alone bears 75% of the current global dengue disease burden, according to the World Health Organization. Following the Thai Ministry of Public Health data, 50,000 people in the kingdom contracted dengue last year. So far this year, 14,000 have been infected and 10 have died. To date, there is neither vaccine nor medicine that can treat dengue and doctors can only provide symptomatic treatment. But that's all about to change. Thousands of children in Ratchaburi province of Thailand have been taking part in a global study aimed at discovering whether a vaccine developed by the French company Sanofi Pasteur, the vaccine division of the pharmaceutical giant Sanofi Adventus, can prevent children from contracting the disease. The vaccine is in its final stages of development and should it prove effective, it will be a world first and will be used to immunize people against dengue fever. I think the, the goal for us, uh, the holy grail, will be to provide this vaccine to the public that need it, to the population, to the children, to adults living in Asia and Latin America, so that they access the vaccine. And thanks to vaccination and to high vaccination coverage, you can really get out of the disease burden due to dengue, which is on the top priorities of all these Asian countries. Towards that help, you need really a global public health effort and coordinations with public health and Ministry of Health. Nevertheless, experts warn that vaccination alone is not the solution. Other form of preventive measures that involves a partnership between the government and community is also necessary, particularly in improving the level of surveillance and clinical management of the disease, as well as implementing some form of mosquito population control. So to do it, we have to have the help of the community, the people that live in the houses where the transmission occurs. And so what it means is you have to have a bottom-up, the community helping government uh, uh, control, and what I call uh, government-community partnerships. Uh, and uh, there's no single approach that's going to uh, be uh, fully effective. Uh, vaccines are going to be, contribute a tremendous amount, but you need to continue to control the mosquitoes uh, along with the, the vaccines. The vaccine, if it's proven to be successful, will go a long way in saving lives and preventing dengue infections for people in more than 100 countries across Asia and Latin America. It is expected that the preliminary result of vaccine efficacy would come out in 2012.